Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Wednesday. I'm uh, joined with Tim Fraku. Today, we're going to be doing some of the island quests. I am the chief of Tai Birwana village. Who dares set foot in my hut? Um, I'm a roving adventurer. Well then, adventurer, you would do better to rove elsewhere. Trifutia sent me. Trifutia Shakaya, what news does he send? Trifusis has communed with the gods. Your village was never cursed, and your people are free to return. Juan, do you speak the truth? Yes, I helped Trifutis gather ingredients for a commune potion. Then it must be true. He appears to concentrate very deeply. Cannot thank you enough for what you have done so far. Your gratitude is all I deserve. How modest. No, Borna, you deserve much more. I now ask you to do one last thing for our village. And what is that? I ask you to deliver the good news to my three sons, Tamyo, Tensei, and Tidachi, then return them to the village. Yes. I shall reward you greatly if you succeed. If I succeed, how hard can it be? We shall see, Buono. Bueno. I can't believe. Oh, hello. Undo. Un. Undworld. Yundi World. Now this is a quest I also did on my uh, old character before, just so I can know how to do it because I heard this is a quite a long one, so I actually know kind of what I'm doing. Inari by Zenfox. No, that's Zenfox. Outlaw Knight. Hmm. Here's a monkey. I gotta kill a monkey with a ranged weapon. I do believe. There we go. Get my javelin and pick up the corpse. Eternal friend. Aw, are you my eternal friend? Please tell me it's true. <clears throat> Anyways, I have to go get some karam rum and a banana for this quest. I should have actually got that beforehand, but I completely forgot. Open the gates of hell. Maybe I should take off my armor sometimes. Running energy seems to run out so much faster with it on. It weighs me down. Just like the sins of killing men. Scorpion, scorpion, goose. So, I have to go all the way over here for some stupid rum. Let's see. Yeah, Zambo, you have the rum which I seek. Give me the rum of your ancestors. Okay, Karamja rum. Karamjen. Oh, it's Karamjen. I thought it was Karamja. It's Karamja rum. Okay, grab a banana. Slice it. There we go. I add the slices to the rum. So now I have to go and find the three sons and help them all do certain tasks that will make them return to the village. So now I have to teleport all the way back there and then find the three sons. The three stooges, if you would. Just listen to that calming island music, though. Yeah, she's uh, banging that flute pretty well. Do -do, do -do. Like how there's a leprechaun everywhere and no one questions it. Baby monkeys? I want a baby monkey. I want a baby monkey so bad. Okay. I know I need to do this sun first. <laughs> that sounded dirty. I know I need to assist this sun first so that he can skin this monkey. Okay. Um. 
When will you succeed? Yes, I will join you on your next hunt. The Shakalana. A huge beast resembling in some ways a lion, but mostly a twisted nightmare. But it's so cute. Look at it. It's adorable. It's at present far too agile for me. I cannot do damage with this spear. And it seems to be healing too quickly. Okay. I will give you this agility potion. Okay. Now I need... Now I need some logs or something so I can cook this. Oh, there's a fire over here. An eternal fire. At least that's what I like to call the fires that are always burning for, I don't know, like several years now in this game. So I can cook one of these things poisonously. Yes, I only need one though. Okay. Grind it up. And apply it. It reverts to like the very old school spears. Okay, so let's see if this is a strong enough spear for him to kill it with. Tell me. Try using this weapon. You would give me the spear as a gift. I would gladly accept it, but I shall not. Yes, you can keep it forever. Thank you, Buana. Now I must prepare for my next hunt. Take me on your next hunt. Very well, but do not interfere. Yes, he's winning now. He's winning. He's doing it. Kill it. Kill it good. Where it's... Where it's hide like Hercules did. It's like a manticore. I like how I am literally just watching. He killed it. It's dead, Jim. I did it. Tell me your first son, Slay. The death of my kin have been avenged. You are my witness. Yes, go on ahead without me. Okay, now I need you to skin this monkey for me. And there we go. Now I got monkey leather. Now you might be wondering. What can I do with monkey leather? Well, I don't know yet. I think I have to make it into a sandwich. We shall see. We shall soon see. Shunji? Shunji? Okay. Alright, I don't need monkey bones. There we go. Okay, now I need... I think I need to talk to the guy up here named Lubafu. Zabumafu. Alright, I need to get rid of all this fish. Sell. All my fish. Better than dropping it. So I don't need you, or you, or you. Or you. Or you. Or any of this stuff. Until a bit later in the game. Talk to Lubafu. Watch what you're going, young whippersnapper. I wasn't going anywhere. Well then, go away from here. Jerk. You did. I came back. So I see. What would a fool like you want with me? Talk about him. Who are you? I am Lufu, son of Kadoba, brother of Kendenda, and second cousin twice removed of Ibili. Who is Kadoba? Kadoba is my father, the father of Kendona, the second uncle twice removed of Ibili. Okay. Where are you from? 
Silence. Despite what you might hear, there are plenty of fish in the sea, especially when you can only be caught by me. What do you do? Nowadays, I mostly fish for Columba and then collect their bait. Collecting the bait has become increasingly tiresome, but with my age and health. What do you do with the Columban? I eat what I need and sell the rest to the shrimp and parrot restaurant. You don't know anything, do you? Just north of here in Brimhaven. God! How old are you? An order of magnitude older than you. What an impudent question. Collecting bait has become hard enough. I could help collect the bait. And why would you help me? You sound like you could do with the help. Well, perhaps you're right. It's night time I could do with some help after all. I have a fair amount of bait left over since last time. I collected some, but I will be needing some more shortly. Okay, where can I find the bait? I don't even know what it is. Patience, I have kept the nature of the Columbo in a closely guarded secret. There is nobody alive who knows more about them than I do. Furthermore, there is nobody alive who even knows how they, fe they feed. You must therefore understand that what I'm about to tell you is given in complete trust and that you are to tell nobody else. I understand. Very well. The Karambuam are a form of octopus native to our island. They feed solely on Kwambanji. They congregate in coastal shores near the Holy Lake. Mm, any small net. He wants me to catch 20 of them. Um, I can only catch... Yeah, I can't catch that many yet. Curse you. I can only catch 15 at the moment, which means I need to go back. God damn this. God damn you all to niffle him. Niffleheim. Ah, uh, my eye. Ah, uh, my eye hurts. My eye hurts. Ah, god damn it. Okay. There's a chicken. Chickens are level 1? I thought they were like level 3. God's disciple and normal Deoxys are on. If you haven't checked out God's Disciples channel yet, I suggest you do. He's got some pretty good little uh, videos on how to make lots of money pretty fast, so I would suggest that you go and check him out. So now I just need a net fish here for these little guys, Karambwanjis. Okay, I can only catch 15 and he wants 20. Oh, I don't want you shrimps, go away. Shrimps, you are not wanted right now. Normally I love shrimp, but you are not wanted right now. But I keep finding them. They're all over the place. Okay. Keep on shrimping, keep on shrimping. After this quest, I think I'm going to be doing the Shiloh Village quest, so hopefully I can get both of those done in a single episode. Okay, drop all these stupid shrimps. And stop fishing. For realsies. You only need to click once. Ooh, I found some coins. Mmm, yes, coins. I keep finding shrimps. I don't want shrimp. Okay, dump my shrimps. No, I don't want shrimps again. Come on, there we go. And instead of running all that way back, I might as well just teleport to Kramja. So the, yeah, the, I don't have a lot more quests left to do before I start my next half of the skilling, which is just going to be from whatever level it's currently at, which is about level 50-ish for most skills, up until the quest cape requirements. So I'll do a couple episodes relating to uh, how I'm going to like train those skills up, just like I did in the past, and I'll do it all off camera. Well, he wants me to get five more. So I hope you're all looking forward to that because I'm going to try and show you a bunch of different ways. Mostly the fastest way and the cheapest ways. Because, you know, most people want to save money, not spend too much of it if they don't have to. 
or some people want to spend that extra bit of money just to get that super fast experience. And of course there's some methods that I cannot use yet such as the Living Rock Caverns. But I will be planning on using the Living Rock Caverns when I'm hit hitting 77 mining I think the requirement is. Okay, I just need to get five more of those, but I'll grab eight just because I think I need them to catch my own Karambuan thing. Okay, well, let's see what I've missed. So, Shandito has been awarded the Completionist Cape. Crystal Halo has just achieved at least level 99 in all skills. I'm guessing level 99 is not a big deal anymore since I see these things like every day. I remember back in like paper runescape when 99 was such a big deal like barely anyone had it I think actually only like two people had 99 in certain skills back in the time and that was like the old knight I think it was the old knight and Zezima Zezima is like the most famous character I of the time I can remember yes okay I think that's yeah I got two extra that's enough Okay then. Now I just have to go and give him the fish. The music's off again all the time. Audio. There we go. That fixed it. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, this is like adventuring music right here. The drummer. She was pretty attractive with her bleached white hair. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Yep. Okay. What do you use to catch? Well, since you asked, a specially constructed octopus pot, but don't tell anybody. That's part of the secret. What does Colombian taste like? It depends entirely how, how it's cooked. And obviously, cooked Colombian is often poisonous to large mammals such as humans. If you buy some and cook it, be careful. What do you do in yours? Okay. He thinks for a moment. How would you feel about becoming my apprentice? That's a slight change in attitude. As much as I need to protect the secret, I should not carry it to the grave. You seem a trustworthy type of person. Do you want to train as my apprentice? Yes. I'm glad to hear it. I'm sure the secrets of the Kuomba will be safe with you. It teaches you the new fishing technique. In our language, Kuomba literally means friend of Karamja. As a friend of mine, I will now show you how to fish them. There are two aspects to fishing. Firstly, you must have the correct bait. Secondly, you must have the correct equipment. You already know of the Kwambanji, which shoal in the Holy Lake. What kind of equipment do you use? It is futile to attempt to catch them with something as basic as a net. They are too strong and vicious to be caught in such a fashion. I have spent many years designing a specially shaped vessel into which Kwambanji may pass, but from which they may not return. And this vessel is loaded with Kwambanji, and then Kwambanji, and then repeatedly lowered into a Kwamban shoal. Then you should shortly find a Kwambon octopus trapped inside. I will now give you the Kwambon fishing, fishing vessel with which you can practice. Make sure you do not lose it under no circumstances. May you give or show this to anybody. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. No, I don't understand. Feel free to practice on this fishing spot. Nah. It just looks like a gourd. Like any old gourd. Okay. So now then, I have to go all the way over here. The last few episodes have been falling to like 50 minutes or 45 minutes for a couple of them. Um, I'm talking about like the last 10 episodes. A couple of them were shorter than an hour. So I might go over a bit in this one just to finish off Shallow Village if I don't have enough time in the end. I'm going to aim for doing it in an hour, but if I can't, well, whatever's, right? YOLO. 
YOLO. I'm gonna need another fish, I think. Okay, I just needed the one. Now I have to find the second sun, which I believe is all the way over by the lion that the first sun killed. So now I must travel there. Oh god, I'm out of running energy. No. Yeah, there's a Derek. The six nine seven nine. I know a guy named Derek. He's a real dick. He's Derek. He's always emotionally like scarred. He's always cuddled in a corner trying to sound depressed. I don't like the guy. He's annoying. He's such a buzzkill too. Every party needs a pooper. That's why they invite him. There's monkeys. Monkey. <gasps> he's back. Probably not aggressive. Dr. Tidachi. Are you Tidachi? I am. Tidachi, I bring good news. Trifitas has communed with gods. Your village is once again safe. Your father requests that you return. I will return only when I have caught a Karamron. How are you fishing for them? I'm trying to catch them with my net as they swim by. And? They keep fighting loose of the twining. Uh. What is it? It has been specially constructed to catch Kwambuan. Once they enter it, they cannot return. Also, if it has been loaded with Kwambuji, the Kwambuan will not be able to resist the bait. As you say, Buana. He's really white for a native. Like, here he's pitch black, but here his skin's white. Is it just glitching out? Is he glitching out, like, hardcore? Half his body's painted and the other half's... Oh, that's not a shirt. He's shirtless. Yeah, his torso's... What is going on with this guy? Oh my god, that's scary, actually. Okay, yes, I'll take his offer. Your father would be proud. <laughs> my father would not care. Cannot return. Okay, before I return, I must ask you to do one thing, and that is take a quorum of rest to my vessel, Tinsei. Well, to my brother, Tinsei. Never mind. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to teleport back here and tell him that it was stolen so I can get a new vessel. Yeah, like, look at that major glitchage. Hey, he's got a cat training medal on him. That little fish emblem is for cat training medals. That's kind of funny, actually. Considering he likes to fish. How fares my apprentice? Actually, I lost my vessel. You did what? I hope nobody else sees it. Don't worry, nobody will find it. The shark ate it, a Quambon stole it. Well, you had better hope for the sake that this Quambon is never caught. In the meantime, you can practice with this. He just gives me one. I like it. I like it. Okay, now I have to go to the last sun. I'm still not done with the second sun, though. So now I have to go all the way over here. All the way over here. To find the last sun who's sitting on an island which feels like it's impossible to cross whenever I try and cross it. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky now that I said that. Let us see. Let us see indeed. There's a bunch of snake weed here. I should totally grab a snake weed, actually. Let's see if I can grab one. Come on. Oh, come on. Find a snake weed. I need one. There we go. Clean it. I need to make this for um, a side quest, actually, that I will show in a later episode, of course. I unlocked the music track Jungly One. Well, that's weird. 
I tend to always try and go up the middle path. I feel like it's a bit safer. Anyways, so I have to cross this rickety bridge. So run across it. That's how it's done, son. And a task is done. Bra, Tinsy's the name. I will return only once I have repaired the tribal statue. Where is the tribal statue? Just near my father's hut. But that's in the village. I knew. So what are you doing here? I'm uh, collecting materials to repair the statue with. And I suppose you want me to fetch them for you. Good idea, yes. You mean you're just going to be sitting here waiting for people to bring you things you need? Yes. And you don't see anything wrong with that? No. Right, what do you need? Hmm, I think I need a banana and crumb drum. I'll be back later. Yum. Oh, he's doing it too. His arms and his eyes are all glitched out. Like, he's half, he's half black. Let's just say that. He's half black, half white. Look at him. What? I thought you needed that for the travel statue repair. I did! Can we rebuild, return to the village now? Not yet. I need one more thing. What is it? I'm thinking. Okay, sorry. Half African American. Or, actually, I think they're supposed to be half African considering they're the native tribe on this island. And I believe this island's supposed to be kind of like the Africa of the game. So he's African with white skin in certain areas? Seaweed, yes. A seaweed sandwich will do the trick. Ah, seaweed monkey skin sandwich. I'll be back. Yes, perfect. Can we go now? Erm. Um, say something. Now! Does that mean you're not coming or you're not saying anything? I'm not coming. Why? I need one more thing. I need Joker Bones. Joker Bones, why do you keep... Yes, burnt Joker Bones. Burnt Joker Bones? Indeed, burnt Joker Bones marinated in... Ma marinated? Marinated in Kowambanji. Mm, yes, that will be good. You're just going to eat it, aren't you? No, burnt Joker Bones marinated in Kowambanji are the fact and essential. Okay. So I'm going to grind you up. I think I put you on the bones to marinate you. And that, I, I don't have my... Don't tell me I did it wrong. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Come on. It's a pile of burning bones. I can see that. Can I pick them up now? Okay. So, burnt joker bones. I either need a tender box or something. Let me see. I'm going to try using a tender box on these. Or actually, maybe I just need to cook them on a range. That thought did not occur to me until just now. I really can't remember little details of this quest of these quests. I do so many quests every week. It just becomes too much to tell. Where is a range nearby? Can I go into the back of this place? I hope I can. No, it's locked. Okay, let's see. Is there a range anywhere nearby? It looks like there's one in here. There is! Yay! Use these. Marinated J-Bones. I wonder if I'm doing this right in the slightest bit. I doubt it. Okay. Marinated J bones. That doesn't sound right. He said burnt. So I, I don't know. Do I need to apply it after or before I cook it? I can't remember. I can't remember. Tinderbox. 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 Okay. 
nothing interesting happens. Okay. So then, what now? I'm at a loss. This is another one of those quests that's really supposed to be really long. Let's see. Got to go catch another Quamjon. Quamji, or whatever they're called. And hopefully I can apply it to these burnt bones. Because he said he wanted burnt bones, right? Mm, come on. I hate running energy. This is why you need super high agility in these games. Okay. Grind. Now use it? Okay. I'm going to get one more just in case. No, that's shrimp. I don't want shrimp. Okay, I'm going to try cooking these now. Because they're already burnt. I think I remember the icon being a small green bone. It's ringing a bell, but I have to have to make sure that I cover all my bases first. All my bases first. First. Bye, Lubafu. I'm sorry for scamming you. Let's see. Har. Can I cook these again? Or are they just done? <gasps> yeah, okay, that's what they're supposed to look like. Marinated J bones. Burnt jogger bones marinated in a lovely caramel sauce. Perfect. In caramel sauce. Not quite right. Okay, I'm going to bury these. Well, 34 experience, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I cannot lie about that. That is pretty good experience. I do not need this tinder box, it does seem, though. Nor will I probably ever need you. So I'm just gonna listen to the musician to get my running energy back up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was I the only one who saw that? My character just kind of sat down over here and then kind of like shimmied his ass over to her. I think I'm the only one that saw that. Okay. We're good. My character's butt is fine. There is no sand on it. And when I say that, I mean my character's butt is fine. Ladies. Baron Ing has achieved 99 summoning. Baron Ing has achieved level 99 summon ing your name sir I give you a cookie for that a cookie with a virus <laughs> horn crack I wonder who would win a few of these horn cracks like let's say three of them or that shaka darling guy thing that that lion thing that needed to be poisoned to kill because it healed too fast Oh, god damn. God damn this thing. It's going to be impossible to get up here for the second time, isn't it? I know it is. Oh. Oh. I made it across without falling. Yay. There's a little trap door there. Yes. What is he doing? Is he headbanging? Finally, a near lifetime of craving is satisfied. I assume you're able to repair the statue. Perfectly able. Must I? I insist, and so does her father. It's complicated. We don't really talk about it. Yes, yeah, so and now I need you to create a little blueprint of this thing. Some crafting instructions. I hope that's what he wanted. I hope so, too. Because I'm the one who has to hand them to him. And you don't want to see your brother when he's angry. You've probably never seen that. But me, I know all about it. I know all about these quest guys when uh, I make them angry. I like how my character keeps ending his animations a bit early. So it just looks like he's kind of floating down something. 
or sitting while shimming over to a musician. There's gem rocks. I want to mine those gem rocks and get gems. Ambient jungle. Considering it's quite an ambient jungle, it's not playing any music. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. Yeah, Dick Rick is still here. Bye, Dick Rick. Actually, I don't. I don't actually know who the guy is. He might be a very pl as long as he's not the Derek I know. But they do say people with similar names usually have similar personalities. They just go about the personality in a different way. So he could be a very depressed individual, but he just doesn't share it like the Derek I know, who tries to force it on everyone else. <gasps> There's a pelican. A seabird is what it is called. That is so stupid. Have you gotten... Yes, I have. Yes, he gave me this. Yes, I will do, as I promised. Okay. I'll meet you in the village. Since I have all of you guys now, I can just talk to the dad and finish this quest. I hope I still have time for Shiloh Village. Shiloh Village. Whatever it's called. Village something. Okay, let's run back into town and talk to the dude. The dude with the plan. The master plan. Who are you? Japlo. Hello, Japlo. Or maybe you're just Aplo because J is silent in some languages. Aplo? No, Hablo, please. Armlet du fromage. My sons have returned to the village. Adventurer, please accept my eternal gratitude. Oh, it was eternal gratitude accepted. Uh, only 2,000 coins. Should go and see my sons. I will go see your sons. See, even on here they're white. What? What's going on with this quest? Their skin color's glitching, their... The thing is even wrong. Ah! Don't hit me. I don't want you in my life. Temuel, welcome back to Taiwan. I no longer feel like a stranger here, and neither do we. Thanks to you, my father has requested I give you something of value. I have not much of worth to give, apart from my fighting technique. Trains you in the fighting technique. Thanks! There is one thing I can give. My family have honored me with this spear, but the honor is truly yours. Take care, Buana. Oh, I can't even use this spear. Let's see, will you sell me stuff that I can... Yes? Yeah, okay. I need this cleaning shit. So that I can clean off the poison from this spear. There we go, now it's a rune spear. That's useful. Because I can actually use it. Well, I can't. I'm not 50 attack yet, but... You all get the idea. I don't know what you think I've done. Such as, let me show you. Thanks. Oh, and before you go, I finally got around to repairing that statue. You might want to take a look. Joker bones. Joker bones. Candy bars. People are scary, yo. Oh, and here's the whitest of them all. So I see. I wish to reward you in return for helping. He teaches me in the fishing technique. I can now properly cook them. Rather than poison everyone I trust. Okay, so that's all them done. That's all nice and dandy and lemons and limes and flowers and tulips. Tulips are flowers. What am I talking about? Anyways, I got a nice little rune spear out of it. That's pretty nice. But it's a two-handed weapon. I don't like two-handed weapons. I like my long swords. I also like the spears that you can use with one hand. I don't think they exist in this game. Actually, maybe. Hastas, I think they're called in this game. Yeah, they might be called Hastas. I like one-handed spears. Because I like using a shield. 
I like being a defensive based character. High defense. Which is funny because everyone voted that I should use a shield for my playthrough. I guess they just want to really see um, shield abilities in action. Which is kind of cool. I agree. Like, seeing shield abilities might be a little nice thing compared to how everyone uses god swords, so two handed abilities are not that great, or dual Drygor weapons, so dual wielding is seen very often. And then magic and range, no matter what, you'll see that anywhere. So you don't really see a lot of people using shields. So I guess that's probably why a lot of people ask me to use shields. Um, why do I need to run? Your very life is in danger. Rashila has returned and we are all doomed. Who's that? Rashila is the queen of the dead. She has returned and her has brought a plague of undead with her. They now occupy the village and we have them trapped. I warn people like you to stay away. Um, what can we do? We're going, we're doing all we can to keep the undead at bay. But you would talk to the shaman in Taiwana village. I'll go see the shaman. Okay. Yes, I'm sure I'll take the wampum belt to him. He gives me it. And I tell him to shut up. Tell up what? Again, I did this quest prior to this episode, as lo along with Taibwana, but this was... I also did them like two, three weeks ago. Stuff like that. So, I know the basic areas that I have to go to. I'm just not 100% sure on how to do them. However, I'm not using a guide. I still have refused to use a guide. I just have a little bit of practice with the quest. There is a difference. And I want everyone to remember that. Talk to Trufitis. Greetings. Greetings, Moana. You look like you have some serious news. Okay, um, what do you know about her? So is there nothing we can do? Not that I can think of. Should I start to evacuate the island? Yes, that may be a good idea. Said something about a legend. Ah yes, there's a legend, but it's lost in the mist of antiquity. The last place to hold any details regarding this mystery was in the temple of Azurun. Azurun. And that has long since vanished. It crumbled into dust. Why was it called Azurun? It's from an ancient language. The direct translation is magnificent floating on water. But my research makes me believe that the temple was built on land. Most likely between large bodies of waters, for example, large lakes, however many people have searched for the temple, and have failed. I would hate to see you waste your time on a pointless search like that. I am going to search for it, whether you like it or not. Yes, I will seriously look for Azurun, and I'd appreciate your help. Okay, you take the wampum belt. I'm gonna just... Why does she have an air staff? I just noticed that. She has an air staff for some reason. Hey, someone's in here woodcutting. Ruin Slay. Cool name, I guess. If you like slaying ruins, but whatever. To each their own. So now I need to go all the way over yonder to find this temple. Where is it? I think it's across this. I think it's up here somewhere. Just on this side of the river. Let's see. It actually took me like 30 minutes to find it the first time. Because I kept going around like doing this all over the place. Until I found, yeah, over here. This spot looked a bit different and then I saw I can search this mound of earth. Search it. Try to excavate the mound. A small fissure. Use the lit candle. You drop the lit candle. I use some rope. Now I just gotta search it again and climb down. Yay, I'm in! Undead one, level 46. And they're aggressive. Oh, 
Okay, I made it. Usually these guys can be pretty annoying on that little talky thing because they attack you and stop the conversation. But I managed to get out of it. Search the loose stones. Ow. I didn't find it. Ah! Fuck you! Yes, okay, I found it now. Good day to you, Sir Rubble. Okay, I'll let you guys read that in your own time. Because I don't have much time left in this quest. This episode, I mean. I only have like 15 minutes, and this is a rather long one. Search Old Sack. Found another tattered scroll. I'll open it in a second after this guy stops talking me. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta get up here. Search the gallows. Yes, I may find something of use on it. Look at gallows. Zykons has just achieved 120 Dungeoneering. Well, good job, my lad. Good job, indeed. I think there's actually one more item I can find in here, but I'm not sure where. Where is it? Did I already pass by it? I hope not. Well, that's an item I'm never going to find again. could have sworn I had three last time I came in here. Okay. So I'm not going to bother getting out of here the regular way. I'm going to teleport out. Yes, yes, like a good guy. Teleport powers activate. Form of undead ones. Legtastic, yes. Mm, yes. Very legtastic. Okay, I'm going to deposit my spear. Okay, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Um, I still need you, 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 and you. I'm going to take out a vial. And the rest will be food. Oh, but I'll store three away for now. There we go. It kind of looks like an anti-poison already. And of course I found money from my clover necklace while doing that. I get a lot of money from this thing. So we got 12 minutes left in this episode. That's not bad. I might take like, depending on if I can do this all perfectly based on memory, I will probably be finished it in 15 minutes. Best guess. Best guess. So now then, I got to go over to him and show him the three items. You show a trip to this, the corpse. What do you make of this? Is there any sacred ground around here? Okay. Use this on him. hand the scroll back to me, and then use the last one on him. I truly did find it! Anything that can help? Hmm, well, just a part that seems to drift off in thought. Hello, Paulinus Monk. So I can bury him here. Okay. I don't even need my ghost speak amulet to talk to him. That's awesome. Okay, use. Okay. He gave me this. I have to get it inspected by him. It looks like a simple shot of bone. It appeared when I buried Zadamus's corpse. Ah, uh, interesting. He said something and he gave. After he gave it to me, what did he say? The spirit said something about keys and kin. 
Hmm, maybe it's a clue of some kind. Okay. Maybe I can use it now? Nope. Okay. Wait, do I have to talk to him about anything else before I go? Um, whoa, this music just got awesome. Hello there. Defraz. I just buried his corpse. Um, something about. I already have mentioned this to you. Stop asking me stuff. Okay. So. I need some help with Zadimus. Oh, he was a high priest of Zamorak? Okay. I need help with Rashila. Okay, th that's all I can find out from him, I think. He's not telling me about anything else, so I'm gonna head to the next part, which was on that same Karen Island, because I kept falling off the damn thing. That's why I remember it so well. Okay. I just remember I fell off of it like 30 times throughout the quests. Between Taibwana and Shiloh Village, just a combined total of like 30. And he's going to add to it, I can already tell. So i got to climb up these, this rock again. And now i got to run across this bridge. Don't stop. He made it again! Oh my god, I guess all my luck is finally coming down on this character. Search these rocks. Yes, please, I think I can do something. I'm in. Wow, I'm doing pretty damn good with this. Usually I get so unlucky and I get hurt, like, massively. Found a rusty pommel, an orb, and another note. Craft it. Use this with a chisel. Okay. Where do I climb up? Oh, right here. Now I have to cross it again, so hopefully I won't fall this time. Oh, no. Oh, I keep tripping on that bridge. You see, there's a reason behind it. I think I bought these adamant boots from a drug dealer because he must have laced them with something because I've been tripping all day. Like seriously. So much tripping. Tripping balls. These things keep hitting me everywhere I go. Oh, it's Defraz again. Hello, Defraz. Goodbye, Defraz. Um, I have to show him these items. And he'll be all, well, maybe you should just make them into this thing. Okay. No, I said use sword pommel. Okay, um. What I should, what should I put on the necklace? Thanks. What? But you, you just no, bad. Okay. What should I? Hmm. How do I make a bronze necklace? Thanks. Can I craft it now? How about if I use it on a fucking chisel? Are you serious? I actually have to use it. The, why does it even have the option of craft? No, don't use it on her. So now can I? No, bronze wire on him. Oh my god. Take a look at these. 
Hmm, very interesting. Your abilities are much more focused than I initially thought. I presume these are the part of the ward for you? Yeah, okay. Use this. This is incredible, is it? And this? Okay. So, read these notes. Tattered yellow. If you guys want to read these, that is fine, but please pause it, because I am not going to read them. Even though these ones are actually relatively short. Okay. Now can I use them? No. How about you? Are you serious? Okay. I think I found the tomb. I think, actually think I need to help with something else. No, wait. Does he give me a different option? Oh, god damn you. Oh my god. I need help with Bel Berberius. Uh, I think I found his tomb. Okay, can I use them now? Can I use this on them? You're not really sure how this would fit together. Perhaps... How? I searched the domain and found a crystal, some notes, and a bone sword palm on this side. I need to look for a final resting place. Perhaps then I can find a way to stop her reign of terror. I found this tomb on Karen. I should check out the place for possible clues about Rochelin and her final resting place. Do not tell me I have to go back there. Why can I not do anything with these? The hell is going on? Okay, I need to find her final resting place. Yes, just this once. I know where it is, though. Seriously, though, like, what do I, what do I need instructing on for this thing? That doesn't make any sense. He told me I needed to make a necklace using bone beads and bronze wire, and I have the bone beads and the bronze wire. All you have to do is put the stupid beads on a, on the wire. Why is that so difficult for him? So difficult for a character to understand that? Come on, swim. Stop tripping, you dumbass. As I said, he keeps tripping. Definitely bought these shoes from a drug dealer. Here's the... Oh, come on! Where are you going? Search. Open. Use... You on the chisel. Use the bone key on the ancient door. Enter. Enter! What is your... Deal! The doors close behind you with the sound of crunching bone before you stretch the winding tunnel. Enters my tomb. Let me squeeze the life from your mortal frame. The hell? So I have to kill three guys in here now? Come on, kill him. Kill this one. What's happening? He keeps blowing smoke. Okay, now can I continue? Open. Search. 
something around his neck. It looks pretty scary. I still can't make the stupid necklace. Obviously, I missed something in that stupid temple. Because I should be able to make this stupid necklace. I remember it wasn't that hard last time I made it. Come on. Yep, I just hit the hour mark, so I am going to be about an hour and five to an hour and ten minutes. Mostly due to this piece of crap necklace that won't get crafted. Ugh. It's gonna be like the stupidest thing too. Like, I've read all these notes. The sphere is activated when... Okay, yes, I get it. Did so love objects to be your tomb was adorned with crystals that glowed brightly when near each other. I get it. And rest like your mother who was silent in the peace tomb to fall near the sea and under the hills deep in the underground to which all nature from the darkness of her final resting place. Was killed in battle. His devout mother, Rashila, was heartbroken and she swore fealty to Zamak if he would return her son to her. Livius returned as an undead creature and terrorized the king and queen. Many guards died fighting the undead. Eventually, whatever... His remains were taken far to the south. Okay. Mm, survived. Protected by a necklace that... So why can't I make it? What? What is that bullshit? I read every single one of those scrolls. And I had to read it after I got the bone beads to make it work? Oh my god. That is the stupidest thing ever. What is your problem, Jagex? You can't fix a music player. You d can't make abilities have accuracy. They always fucking miss. And then this shit. Where I have to read a scroll multiple times. The same exact fucking words. Just so I can make something after I find it. What is the point of putting the scroll after, no, before the item, if I can't use the item until after I read it. A second time. Jeez. If you want to be making me do that, give me the scroll after I make the beads. That just, oh my god. Search the stupid foliage. Put the key in. Enter. 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 Okay. Climb down these stupid rocks. I am very irritated now. All because it decided to do so. Search the tomb. What level boss am I gonna fight now? A level 53. I am Naza Starul, a giant zombie of huge strength and devastating power. Well, it's not that devastating if I'm destroying him like this, but luckily I'm 10 levels above him. Okay, let's finish this as quick as possible. You got one minute till my the time I said I'd take. Thirty seconds, actually. Oh, great! Now I have to fight him again as a skeleton this time. A giant skeleton of huge strength and devastating power. Great! It just never lets me do anything proper. Kill him! Kill him quick! Almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. Just die already. 
That is so stupid, though. It gives you the scroll, you read it, you find the beads, and you can't make the necklace until you read the damn scroll again. And now for his ghostly form. It's going to say the same thing. A giant ghost of huge strength and big power. And devastating power. Okay, come on. I get to use an ultimate soon. And it's probably going to miss. Oh, it actually hit for once. But they're all level 53, but I think the ghost actually has a lot more health than uh, the other forms did. Keep on using your abilities. You will respect my abilities. Okay, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. We're doing good. Doing good. Ah, uh, but I'm a minute over my the time I said I'd be done by. Brudu has been awarded the completion scape. Nine moons has just achieved level 99 in all skills. Congrats, brah. And bro. And everyone else. There we go, he's dead. Okay. Take her remains. And now I gotta go bury them, don't I? With uh, her son or whatever. That's a kind of freaky relationship, eh? Her son died, so she wanted he she brought him back as a zombie, and now she wants to be buried with him. Ugh. Rather than her husband, like, did she have some kind of incest going on with her son? <clears throat> That's kind of creepy. Zombie girl, no. It's, it's already scary that you're into necrophilia. So let's see. African Lion Safari. I wonder what I'll name this episode, actually. We're in the native areas. The African areas. Hmm. There was a lion, so African Lion Safari wouldn't be too far-fetched. But I don't really like the sound of it. It sounds kind of racist. Because it may be a place... But, is it in Africa, actually? Or is it just, like, somewhere in, in America, where uh, they call it that for tourist? Oh, God, he's a tourist. They thought you guys were terrorizers. No! Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn these boots. Why did I have to buy them from a drug dealer? Jet Loss Lowe's 2 has achieved at least level 99 in all skills. Okay, I made it. Yeah. Yeah, you better make it. Okay, I'm gonna search this. And yes, I, I think I can. Okay, made it. Use her corpse. On the stone. Strange vibration in the air. You have my gratitude for releasing my spirit. I have suffered a vengeful and evil existence. I was tricked by Zemarak. He returned my son to me as an undead creature. My hatred and bitterness corrupted me. I tried to destroy all life. Now I have released and I am grateful to contemplate eternal rest. Yay. So now I can actually enter the town of Shiloh Village. And you can actually sell the majority of these items to a guy in there for some minor cash. Oh, climb the fucking rocks. Dumbass. Anyways, I'll just show you quickly how you can sell them to him and all that stuff. Oh, God. Gulp. Cough. Hill. Okay, eat the stupid fish. Bone beads of the dead and bone key. It's a skeleton key. No, it's not. That'd be cool if it was though. Hey, look, it's another drummer. You play those drums, girl. Dun 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 dun. So I think I can quick travel into the village so I can avoid all these zombies. And well, they're not zombies. They're undead ones. Yeah, enter village. Yeah, he's white, too. But 
I guess all the Shield Village people are white. But the Taiwana Village people are a mix. They like half their skin's white and the other skin is African. Anyways, a uh, Yeni Salaki. He will buy all these items off of you. <gasps> There's a guy mining my gems. It's Japlau. Yeah, he gives me a hundred coins for that. No, I don't want to read it. No, I don't. Hundred coins for it. He doesn't give you much money, but it, it's a good way to get rid of them rather than just dropping them. Five hundred gold. One thousand gold. And bone key. One hundred gold. Yay! Anyways. I'm going to use up my spins now and see what I get. Ooh, farming lamp, it's a prismatic star, prismatic star, and essence of wisdoms. So I'm going to use these real quick. Eh, eh, there we go. So thank you all for watching. I'm sorry that this episode has been about 12 minutes over. I hope you all enjoyed watching it, especially at my little anger there at the stupid fucking notes. Um, I hope you keep watching my series and keep enjoying it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.